Hi folks, I'm Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today we've got the all new 2014 Kia Sorento. And I say all new because when it was launched last fall, Kia made a big production about how it has an all new platform to go along with its all new engine and all new interior. But when you stand back and look at it, sort of looks a lot like a 2013 Sorento. So today as we take it out and test it, I really want to find out just how new is it. All ribbing aside, the 2014 Kia Sorento got a number of well-needed updates. We've tested the previous Sorento before, and it always fell mid-pack in terms of style, value, and driving charisma. The new 2014 gets help in all three categories. Styling is mildly enhanced with new front and rear fascias and new headlamps with LED enhancements. Taillights get LED as well. Our SX trim grade had handsome body color wheel arch trim and 19-inch alloy wheels for a bold button-down look. Inside, the dash and door panels got a new finesse in trims and appliques that give a more sculpted and fine sorted look. The instrument cluster now has an LED TFT screen center gauge which gives more information and the center stack gets all new controls. Like the Kia Cadenza we tested last month, the touchscreen and center stack controls provide a very user friendly experience for controlling all manner of audio, HVAC and vehicle settings. It not only looks good but works very well. Our tester had the large panoramic sunroof, which is always a nice touch to open up the cabin. The leather seats and soft trims around all have a look of quality. Gaps between pieces, fit and finish, and overall execution are notably better than the 2013 models. On this interior, you know, even though it's not all new, it's just got a number of new pieces of trim and a few little details, it has the same finesse that we just saw in the Kia Cadenza we tested last month. And really, with these changes and some of the other cars they've been doing, Kia is really building a brand DNA that's getting to where there's a consistency from one car to the next. Many brands over the years like BMW, Lexus, they've always had a very familiar feel in the way they look, the way they drive, and the general overall character when you're behind the wheel. And Kia is finally starting to get that. Handling is enhanced by a number of chassis improvements that go a long way to making the structure feel more solid. While not an all-new platform, the changes that have been made show that a few well-placed engineering solutions can go a long way. So one of the big changes they've made to the chassis is they've added a new front cross member and a new engine cradle that really stiffens the chassis up quite a bit. And the dividend of that, of course, is it's got a more solid ride, the steering is more direct, and it's a lot more refined driving down the road. It really is noticeable. This new 3.3 liter engine is actually quite a delight. It's a little bit smaller than the last engine, but it has 14 more horsepower now rated at 290. Made into this six-speed automatic transmission, it's a nice, smooth, refined powertrain for this thing that really is a step up from last year's model. It was a bit thirstier than the 2013 model we tested with the V6, however. The EPA rates the 2014 Sorento V6 at 18 miles per gallon city, 25 miles per gallon highway, and 21 miles per gallon combined. Our observed fuel economy for the week of our testing was about 20 miles per gallon. You know, with a front wheel drive crossover like this, one of the concerns is always torque steer. And when you add a lot of power like this V6 has, it tends to get worse. And a lot of that's because they have a high center of gravity, and with front wheel drive only, it's just pretty tough to get the thing not to torque steer bad. Like when you're taking off from a stop and putting power to it, it just, it really just has torque steer like a mad rabbit. So if I had a recommendation is if you spend the extra money for this V6, spend a little bit more and get all wheel drive. That way a little bit more of that torque will be sent to the back wheels and give you an overall better handling experience. The chassis refinements that they've made have definitely made the Sorento much better to drive on the highway and out on the roads. But what I really want to find out is how it does off-road. Off-road, the chassis changes for 2014 really come alive. Of all the unibody crossover vehicles we've tested this year, the Sorento is the most polished out here on these rough and loose surfaces. The body structure is solid and quiet in a way few competitors are. The stability control is well-tuned for these loose surfaces, stepping in to catch understeer and oversteer nicely. 
Suspension travel is still a little thin for rough-roading with some bumps crashing through if you're rolling at them too fast. The power steering for 2014 is driver adjustable with settings of comfort, normal, and sport. We played with the settings and they offer up a true difference in power assist from an easy light feel to a more sporting heavy feel that I preferred out here in the wild. And as I already said, if you option the V6, also get all-wheel drive. On gravel and dirt, traction's hampered by the combination of high torque and only front-wheel drive. The wheels spin easily, then traction control steps in and cuts power. Thus, there are no quick takeoffs with only front-wheel drive. I'm really impressed with the Sorrento's composure out here on the washboard roads. These things usually are a good test of a car-based crossover like this to see how solid the chassis really is. Here I'm not hardly getting any shaking or rattling in the chassis, it just feels solid and isolated like it should. Well, is it all new? No, but it is a lot better. As we found out here on the off-road trail today, it does exceptionally well out here on the rough stuff. The chassis is stiff, it's solid, and on the road, these improvements that they've made to the chassis really make it drive in a lot more refined way. The new engine is smooth and more powerful, and the interior really raises the bar. Therefore, we give it four out of five stars. I'm Sam Haymart. I hope you enjoyed the ride. For a more detailed review and photo gallery, see our review on activityvehicle.com.